What's up guys? This is the Braverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Bavaria. And so to pick up where we left off, our small force that's currently sieging Paris is getting attacked by the garrison once more. So we're going to cut them down with our volleys. And the name of the game here is to lose as few troops as possible because we really don't have the we don't have the money to recruit larger armies and we we've got significant competing demands every turn about uh, how we go about trying to uh, trying to protect our borders so okay so I'm probably gonna deploy some mixed gun formations well a bit of a mixed formation to the rear may as well use our gun advantage I think if I go further to the right like that, and then I can probably stand to put a maybe even a potentially wider line with my 12 pounders in this gap here. Okay, uh, it's probably going to be about fine. But yeah, we don't we we don't have the numbers that we want. Oops, switched around shot for the um, 12 pounders. So we need to be really, really careful because we can't afford to keep sending, keep spending money on uh, replenishing some of our uh, armies. At some point we're going to need to, well, I'm going to slowly have to start rebuilding both uh, western and eastern fronts at the same time and it's going to be a bit dodgy. But this shouldn't be too much of an issue because it's just a bunch of pretty irregular troops advancing although they're now running into range so once they get within range we'll start to fight as normal switch to canister shot get my guys to start attacking the enemy I mean we've got a couple of infantry formations here so they should well they're able to do a good amount of work here focusing on the 46th regiment keep the artillery hammering the 44th regiment up front First regiments also opening up. Yeah, just need to keep pushing them back. Realistically, that's all we can do. Uh, let's get you guys to attack. Maybe some of these blocks of troops coming in. So we can at least use our uh, Artillery firing canister shot to do a good amount of damage to the enemy to provide a bit of support. I mean, we don't necessarily want to kill them all, we just want to make them rout. Because it's in our interest, I think, to just keep sieging Paris rather than storming in. Because once you storm in and take a, take a territory like Paris, you need to st really spread out and start to capitalize on the actual territory itself and make sure you've got your stuff covered. I'm going to firing, firing across, so I think that'll be better from a, uh, a firing standpoint. I think it's easier for you guys to shoot to the right and you guys shoot to the left. Because as they retreat, they won't then run into each other's lines of fire. There we go. Let's knock out these militiamen. These my guys are behind trenches, so they're losing very, very few men. Which is perfect. Okay, there we go. Just keep the artillery firing. And now the 44th are just sat here in square. Oh well, nope, they're forming up again. They're out of range. For now. The 43rd are coming back into the mix. They will simply get engaged by our Bavarian troops. Look at this officer. He's a bold one. Yeah, just keep slamming those volleys home. Eventually, they will break. The armed citizenry units are gone. You guys round shot the 40th Regiment of Militia. So might just push these units out, ceasefire the guns completely. 
keep you men behind cover because then you're, you've got a fairly good shot at keeping yourself safe. There goes the 40th. So now it's just this unit of firelock armed citizenry. Who are now going to be under fire from the 8th and the 12th. And they're already shaken, so it should only be a couple of volleys. And they will be pushed back. Fire! Come on, reload, damn it. Reload. Oh, there's, there's a couple of guys stood at the back, but they'll, they'll be. They'll be routed with thanks to the firing of the 8th, most probably. Oh no, the 12th will route them. They're in position. Make ready. Fire! Back up to Shaken. They're all still routing, which is great news. Third, third volley. Ah. There we go. Good. Yeah, we just want to keep our troops alive. We want to really minimise our losses. Um, it's potentially tempting to... Actually, yeah, just end it. Um, we're not necessarily worried about rushing for Paris. I mean, I lost 44 men, and they've only got 400 remaining, although that's quite tempting. So there go some French Navy ships. We've got troops to the south. I think we want to take it easy, ideally. Um, I want to try and consolidate my troops in Westphalia and bring the rest of my army, my militia, or some militia from that force, north, and then some militia east to try and bolster my forces against the likes of the Ottoman Empire. They've got a bit of a runaround going on here. Could probably do with just attacking that force rather than leapfrogging them. Or rather than trying to mirror their moves, because if we... Well, if we don't, sooner or later they will just get joined by more troops. So it's not in our interests to keep that going on too much longer. But let's see. I want to take all the troops that are currently, that are currently in the Strasbourg Stuttgart area. And get them divvied up. Okay. Ah. What have you got? Western European mercenary, some dragoons. Yeah, you guys were meant to go over there to help quell the upset. Um, but it's tempting to try and say, you know, take like these units, send them preemptively east to bolster the troops attacking Paris, because we're going to need to keep cash at hand do we see uh, to be honest with me is, oh, it's tempting to drop some of this major cash we've got on significant things like repairing the weaver's cottage that's been broken for an awfully long time and repair the military governor's encampment so you troops can replenish advance up towards victor bach and then advance onto sigmund michalka will be bolstered by the garrison at Stuttgart, but yeah, let's push and take out there the Württemberg rebel forces. Because right now the troops that are currently sat outside the capital, they've got a lot of firepower in the open field, but they're potentially a bit vulnerable. Um, so maybe, but well, it depends if my militia are within range to support the attack. Because I really want to see if I can take Paris with minimal casualties. Ah. Okay. Deploy my line, just to see where they're going to deploy. I mean, hopefully they're forward. Nope. Okay. Well, let's deploy our our line forward. We got some reinforcement. <laughs> the reinforcements coming in right behind them. That's really not good. The Dragoons are going to get... Ooh, yeah. Okay. Get my guns to rout. Get everyone to hit the Dragoons. Yeah, my militia went flying. 
but I would hope I could try and get some of these guys out of here. It's probably not going to be not going to be very likely now. It's not great that we've been hit by their cavalry forces so decisively, but that's why I want to try and get my guns away. I mean, my militia and my Prushenk horse haven't even lost. Haven't even lost anyone. Whereas the enemy have lost 40 odd cavalrymen. So this yeah, these mercenary cavalry are pretty good. Let's run my line. Because the enemy dragoons are in suit her. They're not in position, but they're going to be. Push my infantry flank up aggressively. Looks like they're bringing. Yes, nicely done. My militia to form a front line, get my pushing horse out to the flank. To be honest, you guys are useless now, so just run. So we're attacking the head of their column. Let's get our cavalry over here rapidly. Let's fall you guys back, see if that triggers them to attack. I was hoping I could pull them back and get the 2nd Regiment of Foot to form square. Putting fire into the mercenaries who are shaken, so let's try my cavalry actually. Okay, right. New men form square, my militia run towards the square, cavalry get over here, you two units run towards the enemy, charge both these units into that combat there, I'm hoping these militia, no they did not, keep running, I want them to run towards the square, get my cavalry to run through here, don't charge yet, fight the enemy, We don't really have much of an option here, except for my cavalry cutting the mercenaries to bits. And they are shaken. That's why I've got these guys on their way up there. Grenadiers form square. Oh no, the enemy have formed... They're getting off their horses to form defensive positions. Both these units form up. Dragoons go wide. This Western European mercenary unit is almost about to rout because the Prussian horse are beasts. There's still 35 cavalrymen left. They've only lost four men. Go on, Grenadiers. Make ready. Yeah, you've taken a volley from their regiment von Degenfeld, which has fire by rank. But we're now going to respond with our own fire by rank. We're down to wavering. You guys are wavering. Okay, let's get my cavalry to pursue. Get my infantry force just to make their way back through the town. Enemy cavalry's back in the distance. Get these militia to run and secure the farmhouse. Where's my cavalry? Get them back up to hit the dragoons. Fundamental, the smart call would have been to probably just bayonet charge the regiment von Degenfield rather than trading blows with them because then they're cavalry. Now they're on foot. My grenadiers should trounce them, and they have. There we go, they've been shattered, so let's push up my grenadiers. The enemy dragoons have been shattered. Almost entirely, but some of them are up front, so they're going to escape. My militia are holding. They've done quite well. Let's push them forward into this unit of mercenaries here. Because that unit's already under fire significantly from the enemy. So we might, if we can make this unit route. We lost a lot of men quite quickly. 
Come on, if we can break them. Nah, they recovered. New men just form up. My dragoons to carry on engaging. You men have killed all of those troops. So now the mercenaries are being engaged by my dragoons. But they've also got militia and line infantry charging up the hill towards them, but they are gone. So long, suckers. Pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to then also resolve the, the, the final defeat. Because they've only got 160 men remaining. Yeah, just take them out. Württemberg, for a second there I could see, is unhappy with us. But they're probably... There we go, they've immediately gone and made their peace with us. Replenish what we can, which is not very much. Actually, how much would it take? Yeah, it would be quite more expensive to replenish or to repair these... Um, the iron workshops. So let's bring Pascal Caterer down. Will you intercept us? Because ultimately, got to cavalry, melee troops. We've got a bit of artillery. We're going to have to push them back and try and do some damage, but we're going to have to do. We're going to have to rely on our firepower. So we're not going to advance. We're going to use the fact that we have artillery and they don't. I mean, it's only one unit of demi cannons, but you know you. You can only play life with the dealt your hand, with the hand you dealt, not the dealt your hand. So, come on, let's see what the terrain. That's not, that's not terrible. Put the guns up front. So let's put a unit of Freikorps on each flank next to the guns. Then let's put, to be honest, I might keep my militia back as reserves because they'll get in the way. <laughs> when I say that, I've actually not got very much infantry to do much else with. I don't want them on the flanks because they'll get hit by enemy uh, cavalry. But then again, I can't really do much else. Let's put our blue militia on the left to hold the high ground. Uh, brown militia on the right. Bit of cavalry behind each flank to provide a bit of cover. Gunners, focus on that unit of horsemen that you can see directly ahead of you. Oh, misses. You aimed exactly where they were. Oh, we got some hits. So part of the the gamble here is that these guys elect to skirmish rather than charge. Because if they skirmish, they can waste. They can they can skirmish with my militia till the cows come home. Fire at will. Uh, sound shenanigans, that's a bit lame. Get my guns ready to engage the cavalry as they pass in front of them. But yeah, if they skirmish, if they run around in front of my militia like that, we can do some quite good free damage. It looks like their troops on the the left are actually going to be a bit more isolated now they've lost their cavalry support. There's two units of horsemen gone. Shaken cavalry. Those men, they're running at us, but they've got their bows out. But form square anyway. Counter charge. You men charge that unit of horsemen there. Hold them off. Gunners, switch the canister shot. Engage the Muslim up front. Get my wild dragoons on the left out wide. See, if they're going to run away, just run over here and help attack this unit of 
horsemen. Are they broken? Get my hussars back wide. Get my militia up front. Get you guys out of square. I know they're charging again. Eh, the militia's wavering, but if they do rout, they'll come back. Get my Val Dragoons to charge the Bashi Bazooks. Oh, come on, they're wavering from the musket fire. Now's the time to rout them. Steady. Ah, they got they they, they came back to their senses. My hussars, I'm gonna go at the cavalry. I might be able to get him. Go for the Israeli. We managed to make the pikemen route. The Bashi Bazooks are still active. So on this flank, my militia can charge the Azar. And we can start to pivot our forces because we don't need cavalry to chase down Azar. That militia unit returns to get them back into the action, get my Hussars free. See, they charged my militia, knowing they were vulnerable. My militia will take care of their skirmishes, easy as pie. So my militia charged them from one direction. The 17th Regiment of Militia charged them from another direction. Gunners... I'm not sure who my gunners are targeting. But yeah, they're just skirmishes, so they die easy. Take my left flank and begin to advance it up towards the Azar behind the hill. My cavalry is attacking the Muslim up front. Now the horsemen have returned, but the Bashi Bazooks are going down fast. This is what happens with Bashi Bazooks, because they're quite weak. Pikemen, on the other hand, they don't take quite they're not quite so eager to get shot. My cavalry engage the Muslim, my artillery switch to round shot and engage the 7th Orta. Actually, let's bring my other cavalry along the rear, or along the enemy's rear. Oi oi Savaloi. You men are engaging the Azar quite conclusively. There we go. So you do something like this. My artillery routed, which is a bit sucky. Then again, so is theirs. Their cavalry is routing, so I can probably charge them in the f in the, uh, the rear, and I'll make them route. Okay, let's get you guys and push up here. Yes, Aurelia routing. There we go. My dragoons have come back. I mean, that militia unit will be will melt in front in the face of those pikemen, but then again, their pikemen will melt in the face of a rear-facing or rearward cavalry charge. We need to do as much damage as we can. So get them up here. Get my cavalry up here. Get the artillery to engage the horsemen. Get the Freikor and the grenadiers up here too. My dragoons. I want them to chase down the Israeli, not their not their cavalry, because the cavalry will die to musket fire anyway. The most juicy target of the infantry there. You guys carry on attacking the uh, pikemen, although they're probably going to rout. Although actually, you've only got 27 odd men to kill. We're going to continue. Cease fire the guns. So you guys, ah, they routed. They're going to route. Well, I'll try to go for him anyway. But let's speed up time. Because right now, the most valuable unit to kill is this unit of Israeli. Janissaries are also nice to kill, but I've got a full Israeli unit right here that needs some killing. Uh, let's bring this other cavalry unit over too. There we 
go chase them down. I'm not bothered about Azars, they're skirmish troops. They're not bad, but they're not the mainstay like Isaralia. Get more miles out of destroying an Isaralia unit than an Azar unit, because like see like you saw there, I can deal with an Azar unit quite cleanly by just charging a militia unit at them. They don't have the firepower to kill them all. And they don't have the melee chops to hold their own on the field. So we're on our way. They're, I mean, they're going to make it. I mean, they're trying. They're really trying. Funny how they've both got 70 men now, and they both start with 105. It was mean of them to run off to the side like that. <laughs> Get my, let my guys get it just a little bit closer. But yeah, I'll take that. We need to keep blunting these pushes they send towards us, especially as they, they lose two-thirds of their army. So you only got 30. Oh, almost perfectly can start to replenish one unit. That's something. Poland is the awkward customer. Um, So it's things like... Yeah... Brest is an awkward port to have. La Havre is awkward to have for now. I can't... I need to recruit a... a unit to garrison the port. Well, it's tempting to take my Prushenk horse and send them out there. Just do that. Brest is a bit too far away, but... I yeah, don't like leaving ports exposed. So, Hendrik Berghaus, I mean, I doubt there's anything anything you can be replenished for for three dollars. Three gold. Support the town. They'll, they'll surrender in two turns anyway, and that's okay. Next turn we're going to get 3,600 cash, which is pretty good. Nothing we can do in terms of trade. In terms of diplomacy, I've tried selling things off already. But let's just hit end turn. To be honest, things are looking pretty optimistic. I need to recruit some ships to occupy ports. So I can free up... <laughs> I'm going to fight this just to make sure I don't lose um, too many men. It's two turns till they surrender, so this won't win. This won't cause us to take Paris. What it will give us is a bit of breathing space and allow us to get some uh, militia to help back them up. Because in all likelihood, we're going to see significant amounts of rebellion. Can I got one unit? Infantry unit to experience five, which is pretty awesome. Oh, there they are. I'm not going to redeploy. But I am going to advance. Anyone's making ready. Fire! Killed a few of their own men there. There goes the 45th. So the 11th, the 7th and the 1st will be ready to open fire. As the 5th and the 3rd redeploy. All shots into the seventh. You maybe specifically target the forty-third. Yeah, because they they be benefit from any misses. They'll strike other units. Yeah, there they go. If no doubt, if I auto resolve, I'd lose half an army doing this. I mean, that's, that's how the auto result does things. But there we go. I'll take that win. Ooh, the garrison's gone. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so. A couple of points. Because we blocked the port, it meant that they didn't have the ability to march on the capital immediately. So that was a... <laughs> super good decision um, but I would imagine then that, that is a army that's been sent from the Americas 
Yeah, Ottoman, the Ottomans are now on the move after that attack. If they go near Prague, they'll get destroyed. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's an army that's probably come from the Americas, so it might be full of rubbish. The bigger problem is going to be uh, the French not liking us. That's going to be quite significant. In a way, them running around and raiding our ports and our like factories and stuff might actually be useful. Because even though we'll get less cash, we'll also get less public order problems. So who are you? Bucket load of militia. Right. Okay. Get you guys up to get you guys up to Paris. Nine hundred. Where's my thirty six hundred I was gonna get next turn? It's not gonna be trade. Maybe is there any trade coming into La Havre? No, none. Again, the enemy's trade blockade is comprehensive. Okay, so I need to build a sloop to get this cavalry unit out onto the field. Because right now I don't have the chops to... Uh... Okay, so the question is, where do I send these guys? Let's send... A good chunk of troops west not too far west because they can't square off against all that militia and you guys can go east and you men can carry on this backwards and forwards thing we're doing and we can selectively replenish just pick a handful of units the ones with the most amount of firepower I mean, if they go for Paris, we will clear them out. Because we've got defences, and we've also got... Um, we've got defences, and we've also got a a lot of firepower. Oh, we don't have a lot of cash there. We can rebuild the Royal Observatory. We're going to knock down the college, which gives us down to minus 10. If I exempt from tax... If I exempt from tax, that will help. But we'll, we'll get into a couple of issues down the line. I've got four cash, but that's nothing I can... Is there anything I can replenish with four? Nope. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so you... Could maybe flee back to Paris, but that's not super necessary. Might leave you there. See if they AI dummy into me. Uh, okay, but what I will try and do... Actually, no, there's no point trying to take out your general. I can't sabotage your army. May as well get you down to cheer in to keep an eye on what's going on down here. If there are recruiting troops, that's actually not a bad army. Some quite elite troops down there. Okay, I need you guys to get back up to snuff. You're actually not bad. But this is just to mainly dissuade them from going east. Make sure a couple of these territories are only just taken over, relatively just taken over, it can be upgraded. So Orleans is on to socket bayonet. Wismar is on to spinning mule. So I haven't upgraded anyone to the next level university because we just haven't had the freedom to do so. So yeah, if you go after, I mean, if they, they might mass and head west, which might be a bit dodgy, but now we've got an extra gun, so that's something. Ooh, so, oh, no. Okay, let's hit end turn. Probably going to see an attack on Paris. More ships to join the block. Jesus Christ, Britain, leave me alone. This is so. This is can be what sometimes doesn't make sense from the AI because they were they're so hostile against us. Ooh. So let's see if the auto resolve gods are on our side. Mm, 155, not bad. So they've not gone for Paris because they know we are strong. I'm tempted. Them raiding the see them raiding the industry may actually be good for us because we've currently got nine industrialization and un unrest in Paris. Okay, one army's going to attack us. Sure, let's do it. 
let's send you scuttling back east. Um, but yes, yeah, so if they destroy industry, sure, I don't make as much money, but I also don't have public unrest, which means when I've got don't have unrest, I can move my troops out of the city and actually start to clear my territory. Um, okay, so I like I like this bit of land. And I like, to be honest, I like both these sets of lands that, are, that, that, that isn't in the town. Okay. Deploy a gun line. They can't attack us up. That's impassable. So I can deploy my guns against it and have one of their flanks be protected. Three, four, five. Five inch infantry on this side. Engineer. I mean, it's mostly militia. Well, I do want them just to be positioned like so. Just to protect the flank, to make them not easily get around it. Grenadiers already in reserve here. Light, my foot guards. Which look pretty good. Can be deployed on the left. Freikor and Grenadiers on the flank. Group my cavalry together like that. Okay. All my guns are opening up onto their guns, which isn't a bad. I mean, they've all overshot. They killed four Israeli, though. It's not bad. So they got 18 pounders, which would probably outrange ours. They're going after my Freikor line, which is interesting. But yeah, right now it's it's in my interest to keep the keep my gunners focusing on their gunners. Let's make sure that's what's happening, because it looks like they are. I mean I know the accuracy isn't the best, and they have already picked off. 28 of my Freikor unit. Skirmishes on the f eh, cover on the flank, hitting my hitting my militia front line. It's not a bad result, really. <laughs> Especially when they route on the way in. Send my Prushenk horse to chase them down. Get my other cavalry, get my reserve infantry in position. Prashenk horse can try and pursue them to try shatter them. Okay, now they're advancing. My well, artillery's doing a bad job at attacking their artillery. So their horsemen are winning slightly. Bring up my dragoons. Their horsemen are shattered. I think it would be the angle. They just can't really shoot. Hey, they're relocating. Definitely try and engage them now. Get in there, dragoons. A malicious holding firm. Now my gun is to be honest, go for the horsemen. I can try and snipe the artillery with a cavalry charge. Or if they push me, I can shift up my militia flank. Switched the switched shots at the last second. That did a good amount of damage there. Back they go. So my militia form up. Actually, I might put a grenadier unit in here because we've got a a janissary unit oh, a janissary unit moving up, not necessarily charging. Get my other infantry unit to cover the guns. Blast them at point blank range. So 
So where's my Diddy Prushenk horse unit? Let's try and advance to a position where we can provide some more support against the main column. Let me get these grenadiers over here. Switch my guns to canister shot. Engage the Israeli with musket fire. Let us adjust my own lines to accommodate the enemy advance. Bashi Bazooks are here, so let's move up my dragoons. There we go. So now the guns are off. The gunners are off. Uh, quite a lot of kills for the Bashi Bazooks off, or well, against the Bashi Bazooks off the bat. Grenadiers would be even better. No, they definitely can't fire over their heads now. They're a bit too close. They will counter charge though. Most of the enemy will break. Let's get my SARS out wide. Oh, cavalry's smart. Pushing horse, burn, burn, just go straight through the town. So Muslim, and who are you? Janissary's on the flank. Getting ready. Try getting union and militia. Ignore the musketeers for now. Counter charge you. Charge the infantry into the janissaries here. Uh, I was hoping to try to get my. Uh, you guys don't have fire at will on, which is dumb. My cavalry to smash through, my infantry line swarm onwards against the Janissary Musketeers, get my gunners to engage the enemy here. My Osars have lost a bunch of men because my infantry, infantry had to run down and around this cover. There we go, the Janissary is partially lost because they're getting shot in the rear. My Osars can chase them down though. So you men are all messing around these Janissaries. Make sure your guard mode off because I want to chase them down. My Vile Dragoons are against the Janissary Musketeers here. Actually make sure they run through and I hammer an anvil my way. Make sure they get their way through here. And then into the Janissary Musketeers. That's right, little gunners, go after them. You guys blast the horsemen because they're about to charge the rear. Actually, don't. Get my gun, get my infantry down low. They resisted the charge. My Prushenk horse are going to be able to fill it the crew of the 9th Artillery. My Val Dragoons against the Janissaries here. Okay, so everyone except my Cavalry. Form up. My Cavalry pursue the Janissary Musketeers. Run my infantry back because they're going to get hit by. Oh, they're only Muslim. A bit spooked. You men chase down the Israeli. Take my infantry line. 
advance to the top of the hill. If the enemy wants to try and make a deal of it, they are welcome. Maybe take the 4th Regiment and charge them in here. Make this cavalry charge down the 23rd. Seem to be doing okay. Ah, they've come back. They want some more. There we go, now the inf other infantry units charged in. These Muslim are going down, make sure guard mode off. Hit the Janissaries with my cavalry, that should cause them to break. And as it has, kill them a little bit more with my infantry, but then just get them out of the way. Yeah, now they're their, the skirmish nature of their cavalry is going to whittle down my howitzers and make them my hussars rather and make them that much more depleted so use my cavalry to just hold the horsemen in position while I bring up the rest of my line well, actually no, I was about to try and run they're wavering yeah they're routed the guns have helped, ceasefire looks like that's the end of the Ottomans. We're going to continue just because we have a couple of cavalry units actually doing stuff. Enemy generals being killed. Uh, yeah, there's no point going after the cavalry. Get over here. Prushenk horse can get over here. So there's only 11, 7, 3... One man remaining. Nice. Take that, Ottomans. If we get six grand this turn, I will be ecstatic. Look at that. We lost 668. They lost 2,400. Back you devils go. Don't you try it. They didn't advance on Prague, which is good news. We've got to be careful of the Mughals, because they may actually be able to attack our territory. My coverage over the straight might not be as rigorous as I would like. So my, yeah, my infantry there have gone. We've got all that money! So you guys have gone south. You guys can carry on replenishing for a bit of cash. We can repair Heidelberg. Let's repair Stuttgart. And then let's take our infantry here and do some select replenishment. Excellent. Can't upgrade any of the schools. But everything that is everything that was broken is now repaired. Let's get this iron mine and upgrade it to a steam pumped iron mine. Actually, do I want to go for the iron mines provides better short term gains than roads. Although a strategic gain. Uh, maybe I should have fixed Palais Bourbon, because they are minus 11, they still don't like us. I don't want to exempt them from tax, and I don't want to build the coaching in. Uh, okay, maybe we might have to dismantle this. So I can try and repair the government building. Spend the rest of the cash replenishing my forces here. You guys are slowly going to crawl your way up towards the front. I want them to come at me. I can't make... I don't want to replenish. I don't want to get rid of taxes here. And that could bite us in the backside a bit down the line when we start to get overwhelmed by enemy troops. But I think it's the right call for now. One, well, next turn we'll get some new technology. So let's hit end turn. Britain sending more British troops to screw with me. Come on, France, just attack Paris. You can keep raiding. Every turn you don't... Ooh. 
They want military access, they're not going to get it. But what I'm going to try and do is say... What about technology and money? Yes, they agree to that. I don't want to give them passage, but if they want to share technology, Spain, that's good. Because what I don't want is to see a Spanish army coming up from Madrid. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would be enough. But if I can get, routinely, six grand a turn for a few turns... That will be significantly, significantly valuable. That's enough money to break the French resistance, bolster my troops in the east, and actually spend a bit of money developing my economy all at once. How ridiculous is that? Yeah, there's some French rebels, so this is where we're going to take a bit of attrition from. From rebels coming at us, and that's kind of why I wanted to sneak these guys up here a bit carefully. So let's repair, repair the drill school. Let's repair military governor's encampment at Stuttgart. It doesn't need to be a military governor's encampment. It could be, to be honest, it should be a civil building rather than a military one. Especially when we've got Strasbourg that's got a military building with a fort in it. Okay, could go for Weaver's Cottage upgrades. College is very powerful. I think what I'd like more, though... Oh, that's still a lot of cash. Okay, let's just go... F let's merge some militia units together rather than full-on replenish. It cuts my replenishment requirement down a lot, but let's just go for just my cavalry arm this turn here. Upgrading the school is also useful, but I want cash. Wealthy... Wealthy, 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 wealthy. We're all wealthy. Because I can only get one of them as well. That's the significant point. Neither, neither of these help us directly at the moment. Because if I upgrade this coaching in, they'll just break it. So... I don't want to build a new one because the pirate, the, the uh, rebels would just raid it. And to be honest, we've seen it before with Prussia... If they fight each other, the rebels might actually fight the French. As weirdly weird as that sounds. Okay, so what I might do... I'll get the steam-pumped iron mine. Go to Mr. Tobelman here. Maybe actually get a general. Wolfgang Tobelman. Good, he commands our armies in the east. And then we can get one of our infantrymen, one of our elite infantrymen, Herbert Tauber, to be the commander of the armies in the west. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Good stuff. Uh, nothing immediately useful. So we got spinning mule and you've hopped on to punch card loom which now i should start i really need should upgrade you uh maybe let's get you hacking away at carcass shot because kohlberg is uh maybe i should get you hacking away at four field crop rotation rebellion in france as expected but they're only they're down to minus three actually so if we can weather this for a few turns things could get into our favor yeah, I don't have any. I want to bring these guys up to support the the garrison and maybe move them over, but maybe not this turn. We're gonna to have to end turn. France is continuing in his raiding, but the more they raid, the more France is brought under control. I don't have to deal with rebels. I can then focus on destroying the enemy. Is Poland at war with Russia? It looks like Poland might be at war with Russia. On the map, it looks like they've pushed and taken territory. Which would be fascinating. We are going to have to push the Ottomans out of Vienna. And that would be a fantastic hold if we... That would be a fantastic gain if we can do that. And we're definitely going to get into the... We're getting into the... The right realm here. Copenhagen... The Moogles are moogling. Can't deal with them at the moment.
Pirates pirating. Good. Rebels are raiding. Bordeaux has been raided. Yep, fine. See, now they're happy with us. Sort of. I mean, it, what it means is the rebels won't grow in strength any longer. New Royal Air, Albrecht. So let's upgrade you to a magistrate. Really, we need to upgrade you into a college, then you into a... Well, you into a classical university, and you into a college. And we're still going to be okay as far as clamour for reform goes. When Augsburg develops, we're going to want to turn that into a uh, coaching inn. But yeah, right now, just slowly keep on chipping away at replenishing our troops. Because ultimately, we're not in that bad of a position to start taking out, start attacking some of the enemies, some of our enemies. So, let's pull a militia unit. We don't well. And you're a good unit. So let's take a militia unit out to Rotterdam. Get the cavalry out to Paris. And then you men can also take these three units, including a militia unit. Ooh, you can only take three. Very well. But immediately, that's a better position than we were in, because we're starting to actually build up a bit of a stockpile of troops. I mean, we won't be able to leave the territory. Because if we did, we'd lose all this garrison repression bonus. Obviously, the, the population that is shrinking, but they're still fiscally growing. That's the important thing. Trade agreement cancelled with Spain. That's not good at all. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we'll go. Let's see if they're doing just a bit of back and forth. Yeah, they are. Google Empire peace and trade. They want the Rhineland. No. But what if I gave you... Oh, I can't give them anything and they've researched so much. Okay, let's hit end turn. I think Britain's developing and building an army to attack us. So we need to start going on the offensive in France. They've left the coaching in, which is very kind of them. Do I want to intercept them near Paris? Absolutely I do. But, looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defense of Paris. Cheers, everyone.